So when Galileo Galilei, when he pointed the, his, one of his first made telescopes towards the sun in 1609, he found something very surprising. You see, back in those days, people believed that the sun was a heavenly body located at the center of our universe. So people have expected it to be perfect. However, what Galileo saw was very surprising. The sun was far from perfect. It had freckles just like some of us. The sun has mis had mysterious dark spots on them. The astronomers didn't really quite know what they were looking at, but nonetheless, they kept taking observations and soon they found out that the spots, they come and go with time. And they vary roughly with the periodicity of around 11 years. So every 11 years, you have a time when the sun is full of spots and then the spots slowly disappear. So now we have two questions. What are these mysterious spots? And why do they come and go? To understand this, let's take a look at the convection zone of the sun, which is the outermost layer of the sun. As the name suggests, in the convection zone, the energy is transported by convection. Exactly like when you boil water in a kettle. You have convective motions inside your kettle. But the sun's convection zone is a little bit dif different from your kettle in the sense that the temperatures are much, much higher. The surface of the sun is at 6,000 degrees Celsius. When you reach such high temperatures, the molecules of the gas, they start dissociating into electrons and positive ions. What that means is now that this gas can carry one they can conduct electricity, and they can react to the presence of magnetic fields. So when you have an accumulation of strong magnetic fields on the surface of the sun, the charged particles, they get trapped around these magnetic fields, and it prevents the natural flow of convection, and they prevent the natural flow of heat. So you have these localized area, areas where the temperature is cooler, and therefore they appear dark to your eyes. Now it brings to us another question. Why would you have strong magnetic fields on the sun? Why would they come and go? Turns out that the sun acts a little bit like the dynamo lamp on your bicycle. So the dynamo lamp, it takes the kinetic energy associated with the rotation of the wheels and converts it into electrical energy. The sun does exactly the same thing. At the beginning of every solar cycle, the sun's weak magnetic field is aligned along the north-south axis of the sun, just like we have on Earth. But a strong rotation of the sun takes the field lines along the north-south direction and wraps them tightly around the equator, and now, they are aligned along the east-west direction. Not only do they change the direction, they also amplify the magnetic fields. When the magnetic fields become strong enough, they start rising from, from the very depths of the convection zone, and, and they appear on the surface as small spots. Well, when these spots appear on the surface, they are subjected to the strong turbulent motions of the surface, and they start breaking apart, and they start slowly moving towards the poles, and they lose their magnetic field strength. And after the end of 11 years, you have, again, the, the field lines of the sun aligned along the north-south direction of the sun. This is how a solar cycle operates. Thank you.